fellow hams. Well, I had kind of an unpleasant surprise this morning when I powered up the old Kenwood. By the way, sorry about the lighting. I've got the camera in a different angle and I don't have my, uh, my uh, uh, face light set up. Um, I was tuning in for the uh, Little Red Barn Net here in northern Indiana, which is just finishing up. We'll tune off of them so, so you can hear this. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. Let me uh, turn down the RF gain. You hear that? You hear that whine? Let me put the microphone near the speaker. There's a whine on my audio. Oh no. Um, it's not in the receiver. Although the uh, AGC tail seems to accent it. And it changes with gain. And I don't see it on the audio output um, on the accessory jack on the back of the radio. So it's in the... Uh, it's either right in the AF section or it's... Uh, I don't know if it'd be the AGC section picking it up or not. Now it's gone. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, so anyway, I've got to figure that out. I have a suspicion. Um, these fluorescent displays uh, generate noise. The high voltage driver for those generates noise. And uh, the speaker is right here on the top front of the radio, uh, right in proximity to that display. It's maybe only an inch and a half from it. So the speaker wire, if it gets close to that display, is known to pick up noise. I don't know if this is the noise it picks up or not. Um, it was not present before, and this morning when I turned the radio on, there it is. So I got to take the old Kenwood down to the bench and try to figure out where this wine's coming from. Well, don't you know it? No wine. None whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. So it is not in the radio. Well, that's good. <laughs> That means uh, the radio is okay. I guess I got to take it back upstairs, hook it back up up in the shack, and start hunting around there for whatever the noise uh, source is. I hope it's not the power supply. But my power supply up there is an old Heathkit uh, linear power supply, which uh, shouldn't be a source of noise. Um, if it was a switching supply, I could see it, but not a uh, around eleven. 1100 hertz oscillation that's a bizarre noise source so anyway radio's nice and quiet down here on the bench no wine at all back upstairs we go well okay we're back upstairs hooked back into the old Heathkit power supply over here and as you can hear our wine is uh very, very loud and clear. Now, I have not yet hooked up the antenna. All that I have hooked up right now to the radio is power. And we got that whine. So I've started turning things off. I shut off the computer. Um, I have turned off the LCD monitor. Well, I'll turn it off again. It's on right now, but there, it's off. No change. I turned off my uh, Radio Shack DSP and took it out of line. We're just hearing the internal speaker in the Kenwood now. And uh, I can turn off this uh, Astron 7 amp supply. And we still got the wine. That supply feeds my netbook, the DSP um, 817. But now we've still got the wine. Okay, well over here on the wall, um, I've got a power brick that is the Baofeng charger. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> uh, it's really starting to look like it's the power supply. Although I've never heard that kind of a whine coming from a power, uh, a linear power supply before. So I got a set of clip leads. I am going to uh, clip on to the Astron supply and 
feed the radio with that one. It's not the power supply. Oh wait, I gotta turn off the... Uh... Oh, this is a mystery, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the power supply. Huh. Well, I figured it out, and I feel like a bonehead, and you're going to get a laugh out of this. I'm going to go ahead and post it anyway, just because uh, maybe it'll save somebody some time someday if they pull the same boneheaded move that I made. You can hear the tone's still there. It's quite loud. And I found the cause. A couple of days ago, I did a video on uh, uh, an old bug, and I took my straight key downstairs as I did that uh, video as part of the demonstration. My straight key normally resides here, and I keep it under this old box just to keep the dust off of it. And, uh... Thump, thump, thump! I used to have a piece of paper under the shorting bar so that it would not short. It's the side tone oscillator in the Kenwood responding to the fact that the key was keyed down, which did not affect transmission on lower sideband. If I'd been in CW mode, I would have noticed right away because I would have been in transmit. <laughs> but there we go. No more wine. Derp. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.